commitment for life is very important to the United Reformed Church because though we're a small church, we set out to be well informed. And commitment for life intends that we should be informed about what we're doing in the wor worldwide community rather than simply raising money and being a bit vague about why we do it. It's relationships and it's focus and it's teaching. It's very much an integral part of a Christian faith that we love our neighbour as ourselves. And through Commit for Life, people are able to give and to take action and to have um, and to pray for focused people or focused countries. During my travels abroad, I've really seen a difference that the money raised by Commitment for Life um, has made to poor communities. Having travelled um, to three of the four partner countries in recent years, I've really seen partners which have made a difference to young people in Jamaica, the violence that's going on there, um, Jamaica Aid Support for Life, the work with the HIV patients. Um, in Zimbabwe, the work that Krishnaid is doing, particularly with the students there, to get political change. Um, and particularly Severa House, working with the people who, who desperately need um, ways of earning money. What I saw of the work that Commitment for Life is supporting in Zimbabwe, uh, it struck me that this was work that had really looked at what are the needs of the community. Um, they had uh, built the response around the capacities that the people have and the results were absolutely amazing. When we went to visit some of the educational projects or the clinic programs, it was perfectly clear to me that the main help that was coming in to enable something to be offered in these clinics in very poor township areas, destitute areas really, was coming through programs like Christian Aid and of course Commitment for Life too. Churches can get involved in Commitment for Life in many, many different ways. Obviously, the scheme is about raising money, but it's much, much more than that. We really encourage churches and the people in the congregation to take action, to campaign, um, to understand the issues on which they campaign, complain, and also to work with the local community to make them more aware of what's going on. I think if you don't actually campaign and advocate the case of the world's poor people, they don't have the same access to the media that we do in our Western societies. And therefore it seems to me to be very important to get the message out about what it takes to deliver a new kind of society and new hope for people who are facing difficulties far beyond anything we face in the present time. And it would be very dishonest if we only ask for money, we only ask for support, in the mistaken understanding that by giving money you solve the problem, you can address the symptoms and that makes a huge difference for the people concerned. But if we want to address the root causes, we have to look at what structures, what policies, what, what is it that perpetuates the injustice, what is it that causes the, 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 the problems such as climate change. And therefore, campaigning is totally linked to the work that we do internationally. From a Christian aid point of view, commitment for life is so important because it is the totality of the relationship. It's not just giving, it's not just doing something for other people out there. It is also how that relationship is, is mirrored back to us in this country and how people can feel an, uh, a link with those communities that we are seeking to support. Ultimately, we hope and we believe that it will lead to change in this country as well. It seems to me to fit very well with the nature of the United Reformed Church to engage with the Commitment for Life program because that brings this package together of supporting education and world development movement as well as channeling our resources through tied and tested and monitored programs through Christian Aid. It's an excellent way to do it and I would say get involved, do it.